Leave it to the Amber Heard supporter to say that the female comedian that's mocking her Instagram model pics is a misogynist. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. You can't make this stuff up. Emily, you rather whatever ski. Uh, I don't mean to pile on here, but my goodness, what you said is open to criticism, and I find what you said to be ridiculous. Emily is a model actress feminism. That's what she's known as. She has a podcast. She poses on Instagram. She's an influencer model uh, person. She stands up for female rights, etc. cetera. Uh, and yeah, she's slamming comedian, Australian female comedian, Celeste B a Barber, for mocking her on Instagram. So before I get to the audio, we're going to play the clip in a second. I have the audio from the podcast. I want you to hear it from her directly. This is the same Emily Ratajkowski that ended up going to hook up with Harry Styles, her friend's ex, you know, empowering all for women. Cool. Good for you, girl. I mean, do what you want. But anyway, Emily's just really mad. She's already uh, supported Amber. She's out there, you know, supporting feminism, rah, rah, rah. And here's Celeste Barber, who I think is a better feminist, honestly. If you've never seen Celeste Barber, so here's a uh, Instagram model doing something impossible. Celeste will take, to take these clips and photos and show it what it's really like. Here she is. A more realistic approach to all these Instagram models and influencers that we see, you know, because this is how every girl likes to eat. Aw, oh, look, it's so, so real and genuine. Uh, and here's Celeste's take. Uh, I had to show you some of the less uh, scantily clad ones because YouTube wouldn't let me. For real, they, they blocked the video. Uh, so I had to blur out a lot of it, but here was the one in question. So Celeste put this out a couple years ago. We are sick of you objectifying our bodies. Also, here's my AS. Uh, <laughs> which was her recreation of Emily's. And honestly, this is funny. And it's no shade at Emily, but it is sort of like, yeah, come on. This is, you go out there about feminism, everything else. Is this really helping feminism when you go out there and your thing is to just show how perfect you look? in the light and your in, and how toned and everything. It's just tough. Emily didn't like this. This isn't it was what she responded. Uh, and she, yeah, she blocked Celeste. It became a whole thing for being parodied because I guess she couldn't take the joke. This is something that Celeste has done a bunch to Emily and other influencers and also Justin Bieber, endless amount of people that Celeste has poked fun at. Uh, but here was Emily with a leaf. She put a whole fern there. Uh, again, I had to block, you know, blur some of these out. Uh, just again, this is what Celeste does. Here's Celeste's version. Uh, this was, you know, her trying to deal with the same thing that Emily does. I look, I like it. I think Celeste is hilarious. She's also beautiful. She's confident. She's trying to put like what the real look is for America. Uh, here was uh, Emily, all brave. The Amazon is on fire, but more importantly, look how brave Emily is. Uh, and I am because she showed up with a mustache and Emily didn't shave her pits. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I like Celeste a lot. And so I found this whole drama learning that Emily blocked her was really silly. This was back in, I guess, November last year. People always like wonder, well, what's going on? Someone finally asked her. So here we have the clip of Emily from the show, High Low, her podcast. And I want you to hear it because <laughs> this isn't it either, Emily. I agree. The first time I saw Celeste's Instagrams and whatever, I thought it was hilarious. You have to be able to laugh at yourself, obviously. And I think she's making fun of herself just as much as she's making fun of other people generally. Now, if she stopped there, I'd have been like, all right, bravo. She learned. Good. Speaking, I do think that we really love to pick on female influencers. Like only females, only females get made fun of. Okay. This all sounds like just her own insecurities that are about to come out, but here's why Emily doesn't like that. They are considered the trash, like lamest, most cringe, most embarrassing people on on the planet and i've had so many different guys say to me like oh god you know when you see like a woman getting her picture taken by her boyfriend oh so bad like whatever and then they're crappy guys don't hang out with those guys emily and be confident stop caring what they say why are you so insecure about this i mean everybody's insecure that's the reality here and that's what i think celeste's trying to put on but emily's just going over her head because she's so bothered oh are you poking fun at me and i just fundamentally find that to be sexist it's like yeah no shit women want you know to be influencers and to have clout on their social media it's one of the ways that women have learned to be successful and make money and 
yes, get validation, seek validation. Like they're hustling, they're hustling. You know, I just want to say that kind of separately from the specific thing. This whole drama was select. Yeah. Well, so before we get to our drama, what, 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 dude, dudes do it too. There's hot influencer dudes. Who's singling out only the girls? Why is it always a only girls are getting this? Everybody, any influencer is made fun of, even if they're not models. People make fun of me as a YouTuber. Oh, you're a social media person. You're not doing it. You're just reporting the news, yada, yada. There's a million things we get called, Emily. Why are you singling out that it's only you? That's just what your job is. And yes, yeah, some of us find modeling, uh, you know, not the biggest <laughs> rocket science in the world. Doesn't mean you're not doing something. I, I'm not here knocking what you do. You look great. You got a good body. Good for you. You know how to showcase it. You do beauty stuff, whatever. You stand up for women. But you're not allowed, you know, not allowed to be criticized. <laughs> you're not allowed to be parried. Welcome to being a celebrity. Now let's hear what I don't understand why you're off limits. Let's hear what she says. Last has like been blown out of proportion for sure for me. I think like in general, I find her to be really funny. I don't love to see women who like kind of exclusively make fun of women, which I'm not even saying she does. She doesn't. She makes fun of Bieber and she's made fun of other dudes. So what's your point? Um, but I, what I was trying to send the message to her was, I just don't want you to do this anymore to me. Um, I had just published my first essay called Buying Myself Back that had been taken out of my book proposal. New York Magazine had published it. I think the week before had posted a bunch of things on my suit and Amarada company's Instagram promoting our new line. And she took one of the images and one of the videos and made a caption about like empowerment. And it did get a lot of blowback. So she said, we are sick no. of you objectifying our bodies. Also, here's my ass. And it's, it's like a video of her mimicking a pose I'm in. And I was like, I'm not giving my consent for this joke anymore. It just landed in a really specific time for me. And I was like, I want to be able to do my thing, whether that be right about my terrifying experiences in an industry that doesn't protect young women and girls. Oh, see what Celeste now see how she's turning it? Oh, I'm a victim. Celeste, how dare you? Because I've been through really terrible things. I'm off limits from comedy because it's too serious. And now it's bothering me. So I don't give you, I got to be careful because I don't know what made this video yell before. C-O-N-S-E-N-T. -E oh my God. I That that word. I hope you heard the word. She's saying it. You didn't give that? Wait, we have to get that now for jokes? What? <laughs> what? Girls and femme presenting people while also like, having a bathing suit line but no shade at all to her and no shade but <laughs> i think it is really important to be able to laugh ab about yourself but i think that there's a lot more there that people should think about and consider with that kind of humor and it's such an easy thing to make fun of women who are displaying their bodies and i do think that there can be a lot of misogyny in that oh uh, so no shade but you're lazy and you're misogynist, <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> and um, I did not give you C O N S E N T. So you're take. Do you, I, I can't say it here on this platform. I'm so frustrated. But there, she's using it like it's actually like a DV SV incident that Celeste is doing. It's that bad. She's trying to put these things in the same like court, and it's like Emily, dude. No, you're doing exactly what Amber did. This is, of course, she's in, in bed with Amber and supports Amber because you need to now get that. You can't make fun of me. It's I'm not, I'm untouchable because I've been through the worst guys. So therefore I'm not allowed to be, have jokes made about many. Leave me alone. That's not right. This isn't the way. Come on. Are you ridiculous? You're this, this is a joke. <laughs> it's a parody. So what, who's off limits? Only certain groups, only certain victims are off limits. This is the world that we're supposed to live in. This is the feminism of uh, Emily Radichkowski. You uh, make fun of me. You're a misogynist. Oh my god! Like, am I, I don't, am I crazy or is that upset you too? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Before you get to that comment, you're gonna hit that subscribe button for me. I hope hit the bell for alerts. Smash that thumbs up. And yes, what are your thoughts? Does this annoy you as much as it annoys me? I can't stand this. Is the where we are right now in society, Emily? What are you doing, girl? It's a joke. 
You don't have to like the joke. Heck, you're allowed to block her. But she doesn't need your consent to make a joke. That's ridiculous. Tell me I'm crazy down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. Yeah.